morning and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I'm at my new favorite place, Pottery Barn. Shopping for more house decor. So I'm gonna let you guys come with me. I pretty much found everything that I think I need except for one thing or two pillowcases. Oh, let me turn this way. So I, I'm missing a 20 by 20 pillowcase and a 26 by 26, but we got um, two sets of pillows from Pottery Barn a few, like last week, I think. And then we ordered some on Amazon and we pretty much got like the combination that we need, except we have two outliers and they don't, they need to be two different designs and they only come packs of two. So back at Pottery Barn. Um, then I'm going to Ikea and hopefully I'm going to find like a dresser, more plants, and curtains and then I have to do a weight check-in so it's going to be a very busy day but I hope you guys are doing well and I just want to pop in and say hey we have some shopping to do to get this house together y'all right, so pottery barn was a bust so the problem is is they have the style of pillow that I need but they don't have the color apparently I got the last two that were available that were left in that color and I guess it's either out of stock or like it was a fall color and I don't know they don't have it so the only option is to take um, one that's a step lighter like a lighter gray which wouldn't be a big deal y'all but I'm just so matchy matchy that it just makes my head spin to think that it's all gonna be off if that makes sense so I'm really happy with the ones that we just got in because those came from Amazon and they just pulled all the colors together but for some reason we have nine pill pillows like a, an uneven number of pillows so it doesn't make sense so, um, I'm gonna figure something out either I'm gonna get something like more decorative and just like have a standout pillow or I don't know y'all I don't know what to do I don't know or I'm gonna get on Pottery Barn and see if I can find this pillow in the, in the color. Make Maybe it's available online. I didn't think to look online for some reason. Um, I just figured it was right here, so let me just try. They also didn't have any 26 by 26 pillow covers. I might go try um, Marshalls for that because I only need one and it doesn't have to match anything. It just needs to match our bedroom stuff. So I may try that. But I'm on my way to Herbalife right now because I need to check in for the weight loss competition. And I'm really not supposed to be eating or drinking anything, but it's 10.30 and I'm starving. And we already went to the sauna this morning, so I need something in my system. We're on week four now, y'all. I gained four pounds the first week. I gained two pounds the next week and one pound the next week. So that's just my life right now. And I really don't understand y'all because when I tell y'all I am putting in work at bar. Bar is kicking my whole behind. I just don't get it. But my husband said to add some cardio. So I'm gonna start doing um, cardio before bar on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then continuing bar and weight training with him. So somewhere in there, one of them options is gonna help me break down the fat that I need to break down. Then I also started taking these, um, these, uh, supplements to help me with bloating and also to help me with um, what is it like not overeating like not getting super hungry all the time um, and burning calories faster so now I have those two supplements that I've been taking starting this week I think I started on Wednesday and I'm drinking a lot more water got my little canister here um, so yeah I'm hoping that there'll be a turns turn somewhere in here but now I'm like my legs look super muscular my butt looks muscular even my arms are getting bigger but they're in like that in-between phase of like we're muscular but we're not super muscular so we kind of look fat <sighs> just so many so many details so many details this grown woman body that I prayed for it was not it came with some things that I yeah came came with some things that I really did not want to have to deal with so yeah it's just a little harder for me to lose weight right now especially since I'm binge eating pasta like a psycho and cheese I just I'm really struggling with my diet so I know that's the real issue but yeah all right so we're almost to Herbalife we'll pop in here real quick let me do my way in hope that I lost some weight and then we'll get to Eki <laughs> Hello guys. Okay, so I've been terrible at vlogging today, but basically I got my work done and now we are headed into to see the show. The show is called Halftime. We just stopped and picked up Indian food and we've got all of our other snacks, pillows, treats, and all that good stuff in the back seat. So we're ready. We're just pulling in now to find some parking 
oh the theaters right here okay I see so there's general seating oh, okay um there's seating and chairs and then there's seating out on the lawn and the lawn is where we're gonna be sitting so we got pillows and all that good stuff to try to like make it really comfortable I'm trying to make it vibey for us you know I'm trying to make it waiting on the show to start it is so muggy it was like 100 degrees today and then it like poured down for an hour y'all yeah, it's i'm glad i have my hair slicked in a bun because it's so humid and hot just so you just finished his food i decided to bring the bug away candle because the bugs out here are ridiculous and anytime you sit in the grass it's always terrible but what time is it oh it's 8 11 so it should be starting pretty soon I thought we were going to be um, like behind schedule, but we're actually early, so that's good. So I'm just going to chill. I'm glad I wore my linen shirt just so I can relax and comfy. I got us some Topsy's popcorn for dessert. I'm just going to chill, sit in our little spot. And I brought us a pillow because I'm smart. What do you think about our date night, honey? Good. You like it? Mm -hmm. okay. You cheers in there? <laughs> you gotta do a whole setup just to have us. <laughs> I should have brought more pillows. <laughs> okay, we're at the halfway point. <laughs> and he's been like this. <laughs> we're like halfway through. Well, I think more. Once you hit the halfway mark, it's like 45 minutes or an hour left. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little minute, right? Hair's out. I decided to bring the nacho out mostly because I don't have a hair appointment for two weeks. Um, and I am outfitted in my evergreen attire because today is launch day. And if you can or cannot hear to my voice, I am sick. I have been sick for the past four days. And I've been trying to do my makeup and just like trying to pull it together. We're just we're just gonna make it happen, but um, I had to take I took three COVID tests this week and they all came back negative. I took a strep test and something else, all negative. So my doctor concluded that I either have a sinus infection or a viral infection. So I'm just taking medicine and we'll see what happens first. But you guys, the struggle is real. But it's launch day and I thought I would show you guys. So only Brie and Keisha made it down for our launch live and Maisha's gonna do virtual, but I just want to show you guys some of the fun behind the scenes stuff we're doing. Everybody's hair and makeup is done. And um, we are also gonna shoot some content just for the page in general. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. I can't wait. push everybody over. Bree's never gone live. Keisha's never oh, gone no, live. No, no. But you did good. Oh no. Well I also do the Facebook live though for the oh, church. Oh okay. So, so you had to do I that. have a little bit of practice. That's it? Yes. Listen so. y'all I just <laughs> <laughs> make sure you're lighting good girl. Girl if she ain't ready we got shit. It's gonna go it's gonna go. Ooh, she's not lying. Hey y'all, it's official. Today is Evergreen's live launch day. So make sure you go over to the Evergreen Creative Studio Instagram live page. We go live. We, we launch for our virtual party in about seven minutes. So make sure you go over and join us. The crew is here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you follow the the, the Evergreen Live page or the Evergreen Creative Studio page. Like a couple of pictures, comment, and subscribe to win prizes. We'll see you there. Bye. Yeah. I know I have a few people ask me questions about what we do. Go over to Evergreen Creative Studios page, and we will definitely um, explain to you a little bit more about our business and what we're doing. What um, we plan to do in the future, who we are, all of that. As always, we have some really fun giveaways. Okay, trying to go to the website now. Let me see. Yeah, don't go there. 
all right guys well we're here it's, it's up look join our mailing list shout out to flowdesk do y'all see the pop-up hey man join our mailing list thank you flowdesk let me go ahead and join our doing well well not good morning good afternoon <laughs> um i'm still dragging hence why i don't know what time it is um the last time you guys saw me it was launch day which was yesterday um the girls that could get together all got together um and we did the launch day stuff <clears throat> we also had a training for our crm program so we did that um we filmed and shot some content so it was a very busy day and then we went um to eat in my neighborhood um to this thai place that i'm like obsessed with i love it so much and i got pho for the fourth time this week because it's really good and all i need is some brothy stuff um but last night during our training i asked brie to give me some old school straight bags she was like okay cleo she's like last time i gave you some old school straight bags so we was about to pull up on somebody which is true that was like five years ago <laughs> no it was like six it's like six years ago anyway i had brie just give me some straight backs because as y'all saw my hair was psh, the heat damage is almost grown out but i still just don't want to deal with it until it's all gone and i'm not feeling well so i'm just not really in the mood to mess with my hair so she gave me some straight backs um i'm actually getting my hair braided in two weeks so me and my headband unit are gonna rock it out these next two weeks and you know make something cute for the girls until it's time for my hair appointment because i just i'm not here for it um but i wanted to talk to you guys about launch day and you know just have a little conversation i figured this would be a fun little mukbang because um i found this restaurant by my house that just opened and it's called hook and reel and normally i go to the city to get my crab boils because you know really those are the best places for a while and the only places for a while um but lately there have been some new places popping up and y'all know i kind of live in like suburbs 
area so when i saw a crawfish place i was like <laughs> but my husband was like i need you to try it because we ain't driving to the hood <laughs> during a uh, rush hour to go get you know crawfish boils so anyway we went to this place it's actually really really good and i bought like a half pound of stuff and i still have so much left but this is how it comes it's not as spicy as i want it to be so i'm actually gonna go get me some spice hold on so i'm gonna use this um scotch bonnet pepper sauce that i got from the african trade store this stuff is hot like not even just like oh that's a little hot it's like to me it's at least like four or five times the spice level of um cayenne pepper it plays no game so i'm just gonna do this like sparingly but i'm gonna talk to y'all about lunch day and i'm gonna eat my little my little seafood boil i wonder if this setup makes sense y'all should i move let me see let me see i'm sitting low because i'm sitting on the ground y'all and i really just want to talk but i'm also hungry so <laughs> i'm gonna do this i have these little eye patches under my eyes right now because i just go self-care crazy when i'm not feeling good so i did my little scoot skincare routine this morning and i'm just trying to pull it together okay so i got shrimp crab legs sausage and potatoes and i think i'm out of potatoes already I'm not gonna lie, this is good. I'm not, when I first had it, I'm like, oh, I'm shocked, it's actually, it's good. Um, it's good, like they flavored it, seasoned it, everything. Mm-hmm, the shrimp is the best one. The sausage is not spicy, which I don't get. I don't get how you do Creole food and you don't do spicy sausage. Like, it just looks like turkey sausage to me. Like somebody went to the corner store and got some this sausage ain't it, but the shrimp is good. Everything else is good. And the seasoning I got was, um, I got spicy Creole, garlic Creole, garlic butter Creole. I have like a bunch of different ones, but I got that one. Well, I haven't been feeling well. And Every time I don't feel good, I just crave junk food. Like, I always have to reset after I'm sick because, like, I just want crap. Like, I want candy and ice cream and that's all you need. Um, yeah, that's all you need. Um, junk. But, I've been eating but pretty much every day. And I was like, why can't I have a seafood boil? Because it's seafood. And it's basically like spices and butter. It just feels good to me. Like whenever I don't feel good, spice feels like what I need. Yeah. I feel like they season this shrimp um, different than they season the other stuff because the shrimp got all the flavor. Let me see. Launch day went good. Um, I didn't have high expectations um, because we really didn't plan to do anything crazy. We had planned to, to do something crazy on the one year anniversary, the you know, first birthday. Um, but for this one, we really just wanted to like launch our website and talk about like who we are and what we're planning to do and like just kind of like reset the table because for a while it was literally just me and my clients are used to just dealing with just me and so we had to like reintroduce everybody say this is who's going to help you now this is who's in the contract all that good stuff because when you shift from a hobby to a legitimate business like there are just things that you don't think about when it's just you you know but like so many things had to be reset so much um like paperwork oh my god the paperwork the paperwork the outlining the contracts the policies y'all it's so much like owning a business is no joke like you have to do so much especially if you want other people to help you run the business you have to outline that entire thing for those people so they know what to do it was a lot um so 
we got all that done and got organized and now all my clients know who is who but I've also got a lot of people that have like signed up for our email list this past week and so we're gonna send like a whole who is who we have it on our new welcome packets but if you're not new you wouldn't get it obviously but it's just gonna have like an outline of like who each team member is how they can help you here's their contact information what to expect like all of that stuff for our current clients just so that they can start to get used to dealing with other people and not just me I really think that's just gonna like help set the standard even for the new people coming in you know like I don't want clients to try to go around them to you know speak to me directly about stuff like I want them to feel confident to speak to all the clients and for the clients to like know what's going on and I want the clients to feel confident that like even though these are people that they're not used to dealing with just people know what they're doing so yep she's spicy so yeah everything went good we did a live y'all for some reason the tripod kept breaking <laughs> um y'all the tripod kept breaking it fell like twice i was like what is going on you know all the little funny hiccups but to be honest i just haven't been feeling well the past couple weeks but this week has just been some stuff um my second in command went down last week she has covid so i was like you know what lord like i'm just not gonna push it and y'all my toxic trait my toxic trait is being pushy and pushy in the sense of like when even though it looks like things are not gonna go through i'm still like overworking myself and like rushing to try to make things happen even though it's clear that they're not gonna happen and i just didn't have the energy to do this go this go around so i was like you know what lord like we're just gonna keep it we're gonna keep it small we're gonna keep it simple we're gonna get what we can get done now and then you know we'll just continue to plan and organize for the future stuff that we wanted to get done there was a lot that we wanted to get done yesterday and honestly we did get a lot done but it was nowhere near what we were hoping to get done and i just wasn't in the mood to push it like i just i didn't have the energy i was so tired so i was like you know what lord like you know best you know that none of this has to happen overnight um you know you know who we need you know the clients that we need to touch and we need to reach and i was gonna leave it at that so that's what i did on a fun note we stopped taking clients for a short period of time just so that we can get all of our stuff done but like right toward the middle and the end of july y'all when i tell you our dms were blowing up like blowing up like everywhere we turned there was somebody new or somebody old coming back or somebody that may potentially be interested i had one day i had like four meetings and then the next week again four meetings during that throughout the day and like we've just been blessed so i'm like you know what none of this is a race like god knows when everything is supposed to be in place and you know everybody has their own opinion a couple of people told me oh it'll take you 10 years to get this where it needs to be oh it'll take you this amount of time and i'm like listen thank y'all for y'all input but the lord knows like the lord knows when i tell y'all that this is something that's been prayed over for years okay and like even when i didn't know exactly what i was praying over i was just praying over it for years every year for the fast praying over it nothing happened y'all nothing zero crickets and then all of a sudden it just takes off you know so i'm like you know what i'm not i'm not even gonna worry about it because that's the kind of god i serve the kind of god i serve is a god of when i say it's time it's show time and it's about to pop off so I'm just not I'm trying not to let myself stress about are we moving quick enough and are, are we getting stuff done are we building business credit fast enough are we building capital fast enough do we need to move into a building how am I gonna pay all these people the Virgo in me definitely wants to do that but I'm really just like it's gonna happen when the Lord says it's gonna happen we're gonna get the right people in place we're gonna get our structure back in in place 
when it's supposed to happen um so that's it i'm just trying not to put a lot of pressure on myself because i'm obviously not feeling well already so to add that stress on my body is just not smart just to be completely honest it's just not smart so i'm chilling <laughs> i'm chilling um everything was great the people were great we gave away some good prizes i was really happy for the people that won stuff so it's all gonna be good y'all i should have bought some crab thing i don't have a crab thing and at this point i don't know why but to be honest i've been cracking crab with my teeth since i was a kid so it's not don't do this don't do it but i've been doing it for so long <laughs> i can't help myself but i remember when i was really little when we first moved to hawaii um my mom would like she would be sitting there with her little hand cracker cracking stuff and just handing us the pieces she'd crack it pull it out hand us the pieces but as we got older y'all we was impatient i was like child i ain't got time for that <laughs> I started cracking stuff with my hands, cracking it with my teeth. So yeah. Anyway, needless to say, I need to get one because I definitely have a cavity that I'm putting at jeopardy right now. Um. Okay. So updates on the business. That piece is dry. Um. The website is live. You can go to evergreencreativestudio.com to find all the information that you need about our businesses there are a few packages that we need that we had to do some adjustments to and some updating to so they're not on the website yet but if you think it's something that we should offer but you don't see it just ask us because we probably do and it's one of the things that we need to update so and that's it you guys we are on and popping i'm really excited about it i've seen so many um women and women of color in general starting businesses has been crazy but i'm super excited to be one of them and this is i to do something i'm passionate about i feel like i'm in a really good place in life and we are circling around y'all to my 30 something birthday um in what's today shoot oh my cousin's birthday is tomorrow um and not that I really want to celebrate, to be completely honest. But I'm just grateful to, like, feel things moving. And to, like, be able to see the light of my purpose and start to put the pieces together. Because I really am a person that just needs to know. And God knows that. Which is why he don't be telling me stuff. It's very annoying. But I'm a person that just likes to know, like, okay, Lord, what are we doing so I can play my part? And he's like, your part is to sit here and mind your business and move when I tell you to move. And I'm like, mm-mm, I need to be involved. <laughs> I need to be involved in the planning and the, <laughs> mm, mm So I really am just trying to, oh, hold on. I really am just trying to not be like that right now. <laughs> So, anyway, I feel good. I'm probably not celebrating my 32nd. Um, probably will just chill with family, chill with hubby. I think me and hubby are going on a trip, and that's good for me. My travel is my celebration at this point in life. If we're not closed down again, that's kind of where we're at. We do have some plans and some things coming up, and we're working on grants. So if y'all happen to know of some grants that we should be applying for, go ahead and drop them down below. I'd really appreciate it. Or send us a DM. A couple people have actually um, pointed us in the direction of some very, very nice, very six-figure grants. So mm, that's good. So yeah, um, we're definitely looking into those. Bree is in charge of grant acquisition. And so she's working on that. And she's also working with a grant writer to like make sure that we have all of our stuff. 
all the back end. you guys there's just so many things there's so many things but we're working on a grant so y'all pray pray with us and pray for us that this six figure grant that we're working on that we're able to acquire because if we are we got some stuff in store for y'all um and the teacher in me has an education portion in store and it's not I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what it is, but it's not what you would think. It's not like online coaching or anything. It's for, um, it's for young adults. So don't let me mess around and get some money, y'all. We're about to change some things. <laughs> okay, so two things. I wanted to show you guys some updates that we made in the house. I'm almost done with this boil. I've got like corn to go, but corn... Every time I watch seafood boils, y'all, corn is the worst thing to watch people eat. It's so annoying. So, I'm going to finish this really quick. And then once I'm done, I need to go to the bookstore, which is in our area. Like I told you guys, literally everything is right in our little um, loft area. It's like it's like a little bitty town, but it's got like everything. And it's like all, t I don't know how to explain it, but it's really cool the way they set it up. But I need to pick up two books. I'm going to go pick up Agent U by my girl Nikki okay, I almost called her Nikki AJ y'all which is hilarious but she hasn't been Nikki AJ for a long time Nicole Lynn um we went to college together dope girl super amazing she's done great great things been dope ever since I've known her um but she put out a book it's called Agent U and I want to go get it from the bookstore like a hard copy version and I don't know why I didn't just order it from her so I could have got the signed copy I wasn't thinking straight I may just send her email and be like send me the signed copy um but I'm gonna go to Barnes and Nobles and see if I can pick, pick her book up and while I'm there I'm also going to pick up the book We Should All Be Millionaires I heard that's a banger I'm really trying to shift my reading over to hard copy because right now everything I have is an audible and I like audible because I used to travel for work and so I could just listen to the books as I wrote and it's all good but I do think there is definitely something about putting notes and highlighting and like sitting and taking the time to actually absorb the information so I want to get those two books and there's actually a third book that's by the budget Nista I saw as I was going through the books that were similar that she put out too. So I'm just gonna, am I gonna walk across the street? No, I'm not walking. <laughs> I was about to say I'm gonna walk across the street, but I'm not. I'm gonna drive over there really quick and pick up those books. Um, and then when I get back, I wanna show you guys some of the updates that Hubby has been doing, you guys. <laughs> The progress the progress we have made I was honestly just laughing at him about this but like when we first moved our first move into our first apartment when we got married we signed the lease and we started the lease the week before our wedding anniversary and we were just like throwing stuff in there like everybody was just coming day by day and people were putting stuff in so we really didn't have much to do with the moving part um because we were like planning a wedding so thank god we just had help with that but like the setting up the house and getting things or that was a mess okay i did all that by myself it was a mess i learned so much never again the second place we did all the moving by ourselves pretty much exhausted we did some of the design together but there was just some stuff that just y'all it just struggle it was a struggle so now this is our third time moving being married and we got it right this time y'all we got it we got it right we hired movers <laughs> we got a storage plan things out y'all hubby got stuff put up within the first month so he put up curtains he did the bed he bought a bunch of decor which i'll show you guys and then i replaced all the pillow covers so it's looking very homely in here in the first month y'all which is so unheard of for us we are we have come a long way so i'll show you guys some of that stuff but um i want to get to the bookstore first because i want to get those two books and i'm really just trying to use today as a relaxed day because i'm probably going to go back to work tomorrow um i feel okay enough i know i'm not contagious but i feel okay enough that i could go into work and you know like be productive ish so i'm probably gonna go back to work tomorrow so i just want to spend today just like relaxing and all that good stuff so i'll take you guys with
All right, you guys. Um, I just got back home. I got my two books. Hold on. I pulled up a vlog because I'll probably be watching vlogs later on today. But anyway, I got the book. Here's Nikki's book. Congrats, Nikki. This is amazing and I've already heard a lot of really good reviews about it and then this is we should all be millionaires by Rachel Rogers so also heard a lot of really really good reviews about this and both of these books I think are only like 200 something pages let me see yeah 200 something which means I have both of these read in no time but I thought they'd be really good books to add to my collection I guess I have a lot of books especially on audibles when we're traveling I like to listen to my books when I'm on the go but I do find that sometimes I don't always fully focus on the video if it's audible so I thought it would be good to like start getting books in hand and both of these are really good like business starter self-help like refocusing your mindset type of books so I thought these would be great books to have um you know like do some writing and like actually focus on them so that's what I'm doing um and also I don't know if I showed you guys this but I just picked this up today this is the or not today I just picked this up two days ago um, this is the Jackie Ina Forever Mood candle. I smelled a few. I went at Sephora and I was like, oh, they've got a Forever Mood in here. Oh, shoot, child, I broke something. I was like, oh, they got Forever Mood in here. And I smelled them all. And the other ones were just kind of like, you know, real, they were really sweet and kind of like traditional smells. And then I smelled Cuffing Season. I was like, yeah, that's it. That's perfect. So I got it. She was a little pricey. She was a little pricey. So I hope that the burn is worth it the price honey because she was expensive let me show you guys the update. okay so this is like the walkway entrance and we haven't done much here but this dresser that you guys saw us refinish in a vlog long time ago we still kept that because we really liked it we have all of our photos pictures word things here there's a few more somewhere else like right there that we're going to put up on this wall here in this big picture we're gonna do it eventually i don't know if it's happening like right right this minute but that's the goal is to just kind of make this like a really nice entryway situation then there's the kitchen of course um and brandon really wants to get um bar stools here so we're gonna look into some but with the ones we found like just didn't fit what we want and then the other ones were a little pricier than we wanted them to be so we're figuring this out but we would love to put bar stools here um, and then what's new in here? I think you guys saw me put this carpet down last vlog. Really cute carpet. We also added this little center table that came in. Then we added a few candles. This is actually a bug candle. It's to keep bugs away, but it came in like a nice container, which I was grateful for because we keep this door open a whole lot and it's nice to have something to like be multifunctional and then this one is from at home this is from at home and i actually got this for marshall's so funny story i actually bought this for my best friend and then i came home and brandon was burning it <laughs> so i had to buy her a new one but we've got that whole little candle set up there all of our new pillowcases i think we have them except for one this is a suede pillowcase this was from oh child what's the name of the place I'll tell y'all in a minute because I really don't remember. And that's how my brain is. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Oh, Pottery Barn. There we go. Okay. So this is suede. This is from Pottery Barn. Um, this is a weave texture also from Pottery Barn. I think this one was 59 and this one was like 39 or 49. Um, this is actually from... Um, Amazon I was pretty shocked but it's got a bunch of different textures and it happens to bring in all the colors that we had on the couch so it's like perfect this came in a set of two for I think 29 or 30 and then um, same with this this also came from Amazon and it's like a lighter color but it's got the texture mix this came in a set of two also for 39 so we just kind of like have put them together kind of like let me show you so we've put them together like this on our couch um, and we're still waiting on the third pillow because we haven't found one yet but this is kind of how they're just all set up a little differently on the couch but this is what it's looking like right now this whole area has been brightened up so much just by changing um, the pillow covers on these so I don't know what took us so long but like I'm really glad we did because that looks 
you guys it just looks so much more lively in here um and then we also put up curtains honey bought really really tall or he put up really really tall shears these are from ikea and we wanted ones that drag to the floor but they like just barely missed the floor but he set them like super high because he wanted it to look more elevated in here so we did put some in here and it looks really good and then the table's still here but then we took away one of those desks because brandon wanted the space to be a little more open and i still think we may move this desk somewhere else but i like to have this big mirror somewhere where we can actually use it and like check ourselves before we go out in the day so this may stay here and we may just turn this desk that way so we're trying to figure that out right now but that's there um and that's just computer stuff from yesterday then most of the changes we made were in the bedroom so the first change we made was we mounted the headboard here and then we added a gray pillow there so cute and then you guys saw us with the touch lamps i got those on amazon for like 59 dollars for a set of two which was great um and then we moved this over to match just so that it lined up a little bit and then we put this little jewelry stand it was already here but we just moved it and we took um my little clothing thing we took it out and we moved it on the other side of the dresser right there and we put this mirror here so not exactly sure if this is how it's going to end up but this is how it is now say hi to my unit and then we put this little basket here because like I said we really haven't like figured out what to do here but this basket holds like pillows blankets and stuff at night just so that we don't have to put them on the floor and then we also put curtains up in here really high which I think makes it very moody and kind of you know very vibey in here oh my god that fly seriously Ugh. Um, then we took that desk from the living room and we put it in that little back corner. This little back cubby kind of threw us for a loop. We were like, this doesn't really make sense. But so we decided to put the desk there and make it a working area. And then we also added shears up to the ceiling again. And then Brandon got a chair for that. So that's kind of like its own space. And there's a little lamp back there, whatever. And then we use this little sofa chair to like kind of cut that space off and kind of make it just like a lounge space. So it's right next to our bed and this is here. This actually doesn't go here. I just move it around wherever I need it to. But yeah, so this is how far we've gotten so far. Still got stuff to put up, photos and you know, all that good stuff. But the curtains going up, you guys, and the um, headboard going up made a huge difference. And Brandon adding that desk back there, like just kind of gave the bedroom a little more oomph. I still need to buy this bottom. I need to buy another one of these for the bed. We have a king size bed and I don't know why they don't make sheet sets larger than a king size bed so it can fit the whole bed. Hello. But yeah, so I'm trying to figure that out too. So that's what it looks like. It's definitely a little moodier in here. Mr. PJ is probably a little annoyed because he lost a little bit of his, like, relaxation space, but it's all good. Hi, PJ. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like with some of the updates that we've made thus far. We really do like them. It's a lot brighter and lively in here. There's just no lights on right now. So, like, you guys know in our last place, every light on in the house, and it <laughs> looked like this. So, for us to have no lights on in here, it looks really, really good. Then the last thing that we added, which I don't think is actually out here, but um, we did add this carpet from Ikea. I think you guys probably saw me do this, um, but got this from Ikea. This was like $70, but it's a really nice natural carpet that um, doesn't mold or whatever. It's an outdoor carpet, so it's great. And then we put the other half of those tables out here. This is supposed to be a privacy screen here, but hubby says it's not as big as what he originally thought. But originally this was supposed to go right here just to like kind of cut off some of that open space. And then he bought a projector, which goes up here, but obviously it's not outside cause it's been rainy, but he's just been sitting in the projector right here. I'm gonna get something to cover this deep freezer, but um, he's been sitting in the projector right there and we've just been sitting in our little chairs and doing this. And then there's an <sighs> indoor outdoor candles in here for like bugs. So when this is actually like set up, there's candles out here and we like put food in the projector. It's like a really cute little vibe. So we may actually do that tonight. And if we do, I'll take you guys out so you can see. But once again, this is PJ's favorite spot in the house. He loves, loves the patio space. 
all right so that being said i'm actually just gonna kick back everybody responded to me in my dms i didn't show you guys but i asked you guys like um what are some common practices for a cold and i got so many responses i mean y'all had the remedies like when i say i ain't never seen so many remedies in my life y'all like listen to this one this one says get clear moonshine or the closest you can get to a hundred proof alcohol on the stove top bring a fourth cup of water to boil with some lemon juice slices of onion for about two to three minutes take off the stove and add a third cup of alcohol drink it while it's hot get in bed with a heating blanket and go to sleep a friend had a flu for a week and i made this where i gave it to her with my heating blanket and she was back in class after resting the next day y'all it was so detailed i'm like oh my god thank you and then this other person said um a cup of water lemon slices and honey which a lot of people do and I've done. Um, chamomile oil and peppermint oil um, was on this list of things to try. Ginger's on this list, Manuka honey, um, zinc capsules, um, and probiotics. And then um, what else? There was another one in here that I had never heard of. Oh, and Anacia honey and Anicia honey, something like that. See, a china see, maybe. Child, somebody tell me how to say it below. I don't know. A china see, a china say, <laughs> don't know. And elderberry with sour sop and lemon and honey as a drink. I've actually had sour sop and um, lemon and elderberry before, but I had never ha tried this tea, but everyone kept saying that. And then someone else also said apple cider vinegar, which ugh, I'm not a fan of, obviously. So I got a long list of things. I've tried a few. So I'm about to kick back. I'm going to go through the photos we took for the girls and see if I can find some good just branding style photos for them for whenever they post. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of go through some of the content that we took yesterday and, you know, just try to get up to speed and organized. Um, and then I'm also going to do a little resting. So once I'm done with this, I will see y'all back here. <laughs> 